What made me fall in love with that was, you know, I was outside a nightclub, he won. And as we were all going up to Kirin, he was standing in a, a car, pulled down slowly, both windows went down, and two hands come out the window of guns, and I saw it. Listen, I hit the fuck you, I'll make no mistake. I hit the floor quicker than every other gun, and then when it was in front of me, I was pulling them up to me, so they got shot, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've seen the films, I've seen the fucking films, right? I made no fucking mistake of it. I was fucking dead, all people screaming and ducking on the floor, and it was going into shit life, and it was, it was all going to a in the walls that way. I've ducked down, I've grabbed hold of the leg of something that I thought was a tree. And as I fucking look up, there is Dave Legino leaning forward with his chest, with his arms like that, looking at the geezer in the car like that. He was just looking at him and as it drove past, he looked like that. I go, bang, 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 and he didn't fucking move. And I'm hanging onto his leg and I thought, fucking hell, it almost went, -na 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 -na. all lovey, you know what I mean, over cherubs and everything. I thought, like, I'm fucking nicking this one, I'm having that as mine. I moved him into my house, you don't tell me what you're going to do in a bit. I saw it. I saw him do that. I was hanging on the floor behind his leg. So I'll have that living with me. I don't have to have a mind on that. But if I've got one around me, I'll have that one. I've seen it. So what he told me 20 odd years later, and I kept telling this story and I went, and I've been in love ever since, I've been in love ever since. And then he became a wrestler, become singing, started getting into acting, became a regular part in um, Harry Potter. He does all these spotty because he films. He's a big, beautiful man. No. Off he goes, he's kept, he's kept solid and got me in other films and all that, and he went, no, but they don't, they get frightened, Dave. They think they're going to get you in a film and halfway through you're going to commit a murder or they want you on Big Brother, but they think if he won't get you a meal, you'll stab him. Or I don't know what the fuck, I don't know, I don't know. So I'm giving him a story one day and he goes, Dave, listen, I've got to tell you something when everyone's gone. So I just have to, for just my time here, I went, yeah, tell me anything you want. And you remember that day? I said, of course I remember that day, you know, the bullets. He went, right, let me tell you. The day before that, I was doing chest and back, right, in the gym. He said, I ripped my back so bad that I couldn't walk. He said, I couldn't get off the bench. He said, so they've had to lift me up, take me to the hospital. The hospital strapped this fucking thing around me. He said, like a corset, it goes under his bollocks and there's a little hole in the front where his willy sticks out. He can't even undo it. He got under his finger, right, I promise you, it was a stretch that he said, and I couldn't dive on the floor if my life fucking depended on it. I was stuck there like that. He said, there's a man in front of me, two men shooting at me. He said, and I couldn't even dive on the floor. And I had, and I had right to go, hmm, hmm, just let them hope they miss, right? And they did. He said, and the rest of the world, all of my life have gone, ah. Oh. He said, I couldn't fucking get on the floor if I wanted, if my life depended on it. I was like, you fucking bastard.